Gary Taylors from the K-Facet Studio in London. I present to you K-Facet to talk about our new collection coming out in February 2021. Okay, good morning. So this is, um, uh, uh, it gives me a chance to talk about my new prints, which I'm always glad to do. Um, I would say the first thing I'd like to talk about is a fabric called Banana Tree. And every once in a while, I like a nice big sprawling design. And this made me think a little bit of Miami and those wonderful uh, banana tree wallpapers and fabrics uh, that I've seen that just have such a definite mood. Um, but what was fun was to put it into really uh, jazzy kind of colorways like this one with a black background and big kind of psychedelic orange leaves so I think that's fun for the drama people just recently I've been involved with uh, really sharp contrasts like blue and white and black and white and you can see from the shirt that I'm wearing that I'm really loving this kind of strong contrast story. And I think a lot of people are making quite exciting jazzy quilts uh, using that combination. Uh, one of the things that's interesting is that we, uh, every time I do a collection, Brandon will do colorways of his fabrics. And so here we've got uh, a wonderful colorway of Brandon's uh, shark's teeth in black and white. This is would be really fun playing with that banana tree uh, as a combination. The other colorways that are coming up are blue and white, pink and green, um, and a nice red and pink, which is always juicy and for the People that love reds and pinks together. Kind of lush, bright stories. Another fabric that I'm enjoying is called Garlands. And Brandon brought me a photograph of just a strings of flowers in a, in a shop window. And it was just a lovely idea. Just these, all the same flower um, cascading down and I thought that was an idea for a fabric. What I like about it and it, it comes in all these different colorways so we get reds and kind of beiges for the people that like very traditional fabrics a uh, very soft colorway that would go with um, all kinds of uh, traditional softer fabrics and then a nice bright green for a leafy story and kind of, I love darks, so there's a dark electric story. Because I love darks, this is just to show you a sheet of the garland, what that looks like as a big mass. Now, what I was thinking when I designed this, I was thinking of other things that are sort of dappled. And this is a fabric I've done called hydrangea and one of the things I love when I look at old quilts I love the traditional fabrics that have lots of little backgrounds um, you know a kind of something interesting a little curly cue or a texture or something going on in the background so I just took a kind of blossom from the hydrangea and filled the background so these flowers just emote out of that and that would go beautifully with the, the garlands for instance there's a green colorway um, which I like very much I think it's make a wonderful tablecloth and uh, you know for instance if you had a tablecloth of this and then you put the green um, garlands against that, how much fun that would be. And then, to add to the fun, I've got another fabric called Buttons. 
um, and so we've got another kind of little dappled texture, leafy kind of texture, but this time it's buttons, and I'll, I'll open one of the buttons out for you to show you. Like, this is a blue, so we get a nice sheet of buttons, and that was inspired by the pearly kings and queens here in England, where they cover their suits and their ceremonial garments with uh, patterns of pearl buttons. And I just love that idea. Um, there's a white colorway of it, because I know a lot of people like soft gray stories and, and white on white. So there's a lovely kind of ivory story with just little touches of red as the sewing thread that distinguishes the button. Coming back to the hydrangeas for a minute, as I say, I love dark fabric. So here we've got a wonderfully rich, dark story of the hydrangea. And this I've used brilliantly um, in a couple of quilts that are incredibly dark velvety darks. This is a, a fabric, every now and then I like to throw in something that's incredibly simple for me, but this is a kind of Japanese inspired uh, circular flower and it's called a uh, flower damask, I think, yeah. Um, and, and that, just that simple thing, that cuts up beautifully. A small piece of this always has a bit of the design in it and it becomes quite abstract in smaller pieces or quite strong in uh, garment and things. And that comes in lots of different colorways. Um, very, very bright green and kind of acid orange and Blues are always incredibly popular, so that very bright blue. But my favorite one that I've been using is just this gray and pink story. And uh, I, that, that just goes beautifully with pastel colors. This is another story. This is just a little leafy print. I'll show you a small piece of that. So, just a little flower on a kind of mossy leaf, kind of ferny kind of look. And that's just a nice little small texture print, uh, which works very well with the different colors. Um, like that comes in a very, very deep, wonderful Christmassy green and a, a shockingly strong pink, and then just a nice clear blue. Uh, I think this would be beautiful as the element in a blue and white quilt, for instance. Philip Jacobs does um, colorways as well. I do the colorways for him, so I do colorways uh, uh, reviving some of Philip's. Now there's one called Feathers, which was incredibly popular. And so we brought that back in kind of rhubarb pinks and oranges here. Kind of nice soft colorings. Um, but also, I, I know there's a lot of blue and white quilt makers out there in the world, and I'm one of them. I love good blue and white quilts. So there's, uh, let's put that the other way up. This is Feathers done as a sheet of blue and white, so crisp, cool kind of story. This would go wonderfully with all shades of blue and so forth in a quilt. Um, very nice textures and patterns, stripes and circles. There's a lot going on in that. So there's a nice dark, rich colorway of the feathers. Brandon has been playing around with his wonderful jumble, 
which was just a, a, a delicious pattern that was inspired by a painted dog from Africa that was in black and white. But he's done, this has become one of our wonderful classic staples. And so to have new colorways to add to this range is wonderful. I love this one particularly, that that hot orange with the kind of cold cobalt blue is just wonderful. Comes now in hot red and pink, which is always exciting. And then just a pink with maroon, nice cool colorway. A lovely green, which would go beautifully with the hydrangea, my hydrangea in green, um, if you wanted a whole green quilt. And then for a deeper story, a lovely kind of electric green with this wonderful kind of mossy green on top of it. Um, Brandon's also done a fabric called Chips, which is a great, it's beautiful in black and white, and that's one that you can still get a hold of, black and white and blue and white version of this. This is uh, the pink colorway, which I love particularly. And uh, this just is just lovely when you want a kind of abstract checkerboard uh, to add to your mix of florals and leaves and fruits and things. It's just a nice fresh interlude in a quilt. So there's Pebble Mosaic in nice kind of hot desert colors. This is like the Grand Canyon at sunset. Wonderful tones. Um, and this one, you know, if you were playing with all those greens that I showed you earlier, this would be a lovely uh, mixed in with that. It also looks a bit like a snakeskin. Extraordinary. Uh, wonderful textures. I could see this being the sashing on a, on a quilt with lots of flower prints in it. Be quite lovely. Yeah, and there's a nice fresh blue story. This is almost like a pointless painting. Um, this is uh, a fabric that we've added to our classics. It's called Cactus Flower, and um, it's Philip Jacobs, and I had a wonderful time coloring uh, this pattern because it has this kind of brocadey background, and then these big flowers come out of the brocade. This is kind of Technicolor, uh, old Technicolor, uh, colors that I remember of old cowboy films, you know, beautiful old soft leather outfits and so forth, it has that feel. This is my favorite of the uh, flower, cactus flower, and a beautiful colorway uh, with a kind of soft gunmetal gray background with touches of turquoise, and then these kind of uh, very dusty colors of flowers bursting out of that soft, neutral background. I think a lot of people are going to make incredibly beautiful quilts with this particular colorway. Um, another one that I think is going to be very popular. This is uh, Brocade Peony, and this has got... Uh, I did a version of this with a black and white background and gray flowers that was unbelievably successful. Uh, people were buying it for drapes and outfits and everything. I think this one could be quite jazzy too for people that like a little bit more of a kick and a bounce to their fabrics. These wonderful scarlets and sharp pinks uh, against that black and white. Or, I don't know what possessed me for this colorway, but orange and purple as a background, and then these big, soft, green, succulent-like flowers coming out of that. This cuts up a tree, too. I've been, I've been making quilts with it just recently. And uh, every piece that you cut is intriguing and different. So that's fun. There is the cactus flower, 
in lovely dark palette with a black background. I love black background fabrics. And you can see from my carpet here that uh, that is a big influence on me. That's a Russian carpet. As I say, I've been into these uh, very sharp contrasts lately. So there's a black background with vivid green flowers, which I think are holding up a treat uh, in that story. That was another one that was fun to color of Phillips. So th these are, this cactus flower is added to our classics, as I was saying. And um, just to end with a couple of more of the button prints, uh, we've got reds and then a kind of hot oranges and deep, deep purples. So for the dark quilters, of which there are many uh, in my workshops, I know they're going to enjoy this. So I don't want to go into every detail of, of the fabric. Oh, there's one thing I would like to talk to you about, and that is um, we're doing 108 inch backing in these new patterns, really going back to the classics. There's, there's my Millie Fiori, but done in this wonderful big scale um, and done in the very popular cobalt blue story, a colorway. Um, this we've put on the back of a very soft gray and pastel quilt and it just looks a tree. Um, there's nice uh, lotus leaf and it'll come in that dark colorway as well. And then Brandon's wonderful big circular uh, onion rings uh, design in black and white and in pink and kind of silvery are our, our new exciting backings for things. I always think it's, it's ex that's the exciting last thing you do for a quilt is to put a, a backing on that makes it work. Another thing I really would like to talk about is my new shop cottons, which we've picked things that are really shot this time. Um, and I'd like to demonstrate that to you in a second. But, but also with these very simple two color stripes, the stripe that's in the weave, uh, I've been having a wonderful time with these, putting them in really strange color combinations and, uh, you know, just seeing uh, what they look like. I, I think that's wonderful, uh, the vibration that you get from these. And there's this sort of thinner stripe and a thicker stripe. And those are, are really fun to play with. Just to show you how shot the shot cottons are. If I just move that around a bit and you can see how you get the different looks on that on these they warp one color and the weft another color so it creates this wonderful kind of luminescent quality. That's quite beautiful kind of blues and lavenders and pinks but look look at the shimmer that you get off the fabric. It's very very lush to work with. I've been uh, and we've got new colors coming along with that. So um, it's very, very English kind of watercolor feel, but look at the, the different um, aspects you get from that, the blues and pinks and things that come out of that fabric. Okay, so you've got a warp and a weft that are different colors and it just creates this uh, beautiful luminous quality. And there's quite a few colors, as I say, that come in that range. So um, I hope that you're going to enjoy these new ranges. And, and uh, we've got, of course, books backing up the use of them. They came in just in time for me to put some of them into our next uh, book collection of quilts. We're just finishing up and we're going to go out and shoot that in a wonderful English village with great colors. 
So I hope that you enjoy seeing that. And that meanwhile, you're enjoying Quilts in Burano, which was our most colorful shoot ever. Uh, and I hope people are, I mean, I've gotten wonderful fan mail from people who have really loved the color of that little village just off of uh, Venice. So thank you very much.